Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, it is so great to have you. I'm Antoinette, a New Zealander living in Germany. So a couple of days ago now, I made a reaction style video. I reacted to Phil and Deanna's video about grocery shopping here in Germany and weird German grocery items. You guys seem to really enjoy this video, so I thought, why not make another reaction video? Not only do I get to support my fellow expat YouTubers, but I get to just hang out with you guys and watch YouTube videos. So what could be better than that? So I've decided to react to a video titled Eight Incredible Life Hacks that the Germans have taught me. This video was made by my amazing friend Jenna from the YouTube channel Life in Germany. Not only do I love Jenna, but I love her YouTube content. I think I've pretty much watched all of her videos, but for some reason this video I missed, so I'm going to be watching it with you guys today and reacting. Also, I just wanted to mention I have finally opened an Amazon storefront, and it just has a whole lot of my Amazon favorites. So if you are in Germany, then make sure you check it out. I've got everything from New Zealand wine to my favorite kids products to fashion items, beauty items. There's all sorts of really cool products and things in that storefront. So I will leave a link in my description below for where you can check that out. I love her intro. Hello you guys and welcome back to the Life in Germany channel. If you've not been here before, my name is Jenna. I am a Canadian who has been living here in Germany since 2014. And over here on this channel, I have been talking about my culture shocks, my experiences. I dive in and chat with experts. Make sure you guys subscribe, you'll love your channel. You guys relocate over here to Germany. And of course, you can also check out lifeingermany.com or the freebie checklist if you're moving to Germany yourself. Who doesn't love a good life hack? Well, the Germans, in my mind, are some of the best people to talk to when it comes to life hacks. So they true. somehow seem to invent some of the most brilliant things that this world has ever come up with. Yeah. But those small, simple things that change our lives, sometimes we have the Germans to thank for. Now, this doesn't mean that everybody in Germany knows these life hacks and follows these life hacks. These are the life hacks that I have learned from my family and friends here in Germany that have changed my life for the better. Oh, okay. I can't wait. I'm excited. These tips came from you guys. So I have you guys to thank for all of these brilliant life hacks. Here are my favorite that I use probably on a daily basis. The most recent one, which we have discussed in a video, is the tea kettle. How many of you know what Ooh. I'm going to say? I have no idea. It's like such an obvious thing, but Germans were the ones that taught me how idiotic is it for us to be filling our kettle up all the way to the top with water, boiling it only for one cup. A lot of Germans actually only fill the kettle up a little bit oh. for whatever they need. I don't Does know work, why this is a life hack, guys, but somehow it is. For some reason, I never thought about it. I just kind of went throughout my days in Canada doing as everybody else did around me and filling the kettle up halfway or to the top to make sure that I had enough water for my mug. You only have to fill it a little bit. That is actually amazing. I had no idea this was possible. I thought you had to fill it up, but obviously you don't. So thank you, Jenna, for that tip. I can't believe I didn't know about that earlier. Another one that came from you guys when I was complaining about renovating a house here in Germany. And that has to do with... Oh, details. yeah. These are amazing. I used to be driven nuts by this baby here. Yeah, same here. It's so hard to, like, put them back together, but... A little bit inconvenient. They're pretty I awesome. Wrong, I do still love my retractable one, which we often use in North America. But a lot of you guys told me several different reasons as to why the Zollstock is actually a much better option. Is that what they're called? I had no idea. those points, but what I did agree with is that the Zollstock is actually a fantastic tool to measure corners. Yes, right? yeah. You can't really use the retractable one to measure a corner, so brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I totally Recently, agree. I also published a video on things that Germans do in the home that you might not necessarily recognize in other parts of yes, the world. Yes, that's a really good video. Check that, that one out. I learned from my German family in Berlin, and that is the handy dandy sandwich box. And I just basically Ooh. slide it back into the fridge after I'm done using it, and it contains everything that you need with like your cheeses and your meats and everything for your sandwich. Pop it out, 
in the morning if you're German and you like dip sandwiches in the morning. That's a great idea. For lunch or dinner, out and cold. This is super practical so you don't have to take everything out and put it all back in. You just slide it into the fridge. <laughs> Amazing. That's actually an amazing idea. I never thought to do this, yet it is just so logical and so simple. So thanks for that tip, Jenna. You've actually changed my life a little bit. You have quite a lot of time if you're eating as many sandwiches as we do in our household. All That's right. a game changer. A stereotypical Germans know how to open beer best. It is true. Oh, this one's going to be good. It's not like a hack that you can use anything you want to open a beer bottle when you don't have a beer bottle open. I think I know where this but one's going. In North America, it's not as common, I guess. A lot of us who drink a lot of beer tend to have the beer bottle opener maybe on our keychain with our keys. But here in Germany, you don't need that. A lot of people tend to open <laughs> I've talked about this in videos before. I... Yeah, absolutely. Beer, so German. Any sharp object possible. Yeah. You can even use the Zeugstock. Yeah. <laughs> My husband will just use anything hard that he can possibly so find with my husband and always somehow manages. I have now perfected opening the bottle with the Feuerzeug and well the done, Jenna. This is like your gateway to being a German. Absolutely. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I've talked about this in other videos. Germans are masters at opening beer bottles with basically anything they can get their hands on. Like the closest item they'll just grab and open their beer bottle with. I love it. I think it's so funny. And I love that you mentioned this, Jenna. You should also learn how to open a beer bottle with anything you find inside. I need to learn to do that. I love that little wick. So when it's laundry day, which it is today for me, I have my son's pillow here. This is the German version of the one that I always say I miss in Canada. 80 by yeah. 40 instead of 80 by 80. I think we have It's a little bit different, yeah, but it's anyway, yeah, there's not close many enough. pillowcases for these. So if you get like a normal set with the sheets and the pillowcases, well, chances are they're gonna look a little I feel your pain, Jenna. That's a square. Yeah. So what you're gonna do, like you typically would, you'll take your pillow, you'll slide it into the pillowcase, but then of yeah, this is a like really really good. You've got all this extra space here, right? It's quite a simple trick. So you've got all of this extra baggage here that we don't need, and what we're gonna do actually is take. I do this as well. It's so good. Just shove it in there, push it down to the corners. That's what I typically do, and then on the other side, like the other side to the other end. You just push in to the bottom corner. To such a game changer. It makes voila. such a difference. It's like this tight little sack that doesn't come apart. Looks great. It took me years to figure this one out and it is such a game changer if you don't like sleeping on the big square German pillows. So yeah, this was a good one to add. Another two-in-one life hack here. Love her little boy's bedroom. It's so cute. You usually take it off when it's inside out. You don't have to worry about it being inside out. You can wash it inside out because you're actually going to put it back on inside yes. out. Yes, yeah. I love this. Well, of course I love I learned this hat. Germany, and of course I learned it from a German. But I think the reason why I didn't know this before is because in Canada we don't actually change this sheet that I'm about to show you, or this duvet, duvet cover, whatever you'd like to call it, because we actually have a fitted sheet and then we have a sheet in between, in New like Zealand another too. thin cotton sheet or flannel sheet or whatever in between, and then the duvet. Of course we wash it, just not as often as the Germans wash it, because the Germans use their duvet really to wrap themselves in, which means it's often getting it more dirty than it does Very in true. North America. Here's the trick. You know that thing we do where we go, yeah, I know I should, but yeah, I know I need to fix my stupid case. My mother-in-law taught me this one, and this is another game changer. This one actually goes on sideways because I sew this myself. Oh. Did you sew that yourself, Gina? That's sideways. amazing. Then you grab the corners of the sheet. Like so. It's easier when you're doing it with a small sheet. My son's sheet is a double, as we call it in Canada. Otherwise, in Germany, this is a 140 by 200. And then you basically just shake, 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 and go for the bottom two corners. So you can shake those ones in two. Voila. Put the buttons back. And good as new. Yeah, this is a really great hit. These fitted sheets and how to get those on easily. Yeah, I need a hack for that too. I would love to know. I've tried the like putting your two hands and your feet in each corner and folding them. I can't master folding the fitted sheets. It never works. Just get out to do it the normal way until one of you.
changes my life. <laughs> Here's my next life hack for you guys. I have just gotten this shelf, this hanging shelf, and I always used to find it so tricky to know where the studs are to actually hang it up. And I used to take the measuring tape and measure the difference. Good on you for trying. I just, I just let my husband do this. A million different things in this apartment show me the world's greatest trick. So if you don't know this one, you're welcome. I need to hang three of these today on the wall and I'm gonna line the picture frames up here. I'm just gonna open this bad boy and show you the next step. This one's easy because it's got a hole right through it so it doesn't take a genius to figure out exactly where the studs are. I am are, super curious about what she's gonna do. Right through. They just have like something to hang here. So what we're gonna do is take some teaser out frame, some scotch tape we call it in English, and a pen or a marker or something spiky that you can poke through it. So we're gonna take the tape we're gonna stick it over the holes and start it from the very, very end here. And of course, where it ends. Check. With my handy dandy pen here, you can usually just like put your finger along and feel where the hole is or where the marker is. It's just here, so I'm just gonna pop it in there okay. and do a little circle. And over here. It is, I still I have no idea what she's circle, gonna do. So I know how much space I'm working with. Grand finale. Off the tape off. Take your frames off. All you need to do now is. Oh my goodness! The length of the shelf. You know where the holes are. You just line it up where you'd like to. Have Amazing. It. So straight. You can obviously use a masabago or what do you call it in English? Leveler. <laughs> That is absolutely yeah, genius. Jenna, thank you for this. Uh, I'm forgetting my English today. What's stupid? The studs that you put in the wall and then your screws. And then once you're done, you take the tape off, you pop on your shelf. Absolutely genius. And to end this video on a sappy note, I will go ahead and say the biggest life hack I've learned from Germans is to be honest. Absolutely. Like. I couldn't it's agree like more with that, Gina. Game changing, guys. Be honest seems like such a simple thing. You're like, well, why wouldn't you be honest? Well, you probably know if you've watched any of my videos before that we have a thing where we really like to sugarcoat pretty much everything. In New Zealand, too. So in Canada, if we have something to say or you've asked us to say something, we're going to sugarcoat it, beat around the bush yeah. as much as we possibly can in order to avoid hurting your feelings, yeah. maybe, or being too direct. This life hack has probably saved me the most time in my life. Totally here in agree. Simply because people put it as it is, they say what they want, you don't have to be left guessing what's gonna happen are we gonna hang out on this day the german would be like no i'm busy versus a canadian would just like try to make you happy and be like well i have this and this but i'll let you know you know if i can somehow manage to move it around oh my I'm goodness here. yeah love to hang out. we did it around the bush for me being honest has been the best life hack absolutely 100 percent true i'm so pleased jenna mentioned this because this has been one of my biggest life lessons from living in Germany, just honesty always pays off in the end and just if you can be honest from the start, even if it might be a little bit awkward, it is always the best way to go. I got myself into a really bad situation. I talked about this in a video, but I remember my alarm didn't go off in the morning and my daughter missed school. And I rang up and just said that she was sick because I was so embarrassed that my alarm didn't go off. It ended up backfiring and they asked for a doctor's note and I had to end up explaining what actually happened and it was even more embarrassing than if I had actually told the truth in the first place. So classic example of that, it always pays to tell the truth and that's why I love German honesty. So that is a really great German life hack. <laughs> Just be honest. That was really fun. I loved reacting to that video. And if you guys have not already subscribed to Jenna's channel, make sure you get over there and subscribe because her videos are amazing. And I am going to link that video in my description below. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, then don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. I 
would love you to consider subscribing if you haven't already. I know that so many of you who watch my videos are not actually subscribed. So if you would consider subscribing, that would mean so much to me. Feel free to connect with me on Instagram and I will see you again really soon. Bye.